The Mets face the Los Angeles Dodgers in the opener of an old-fashioned single admission straight doubleheader. The Dodgers scuffling five consecutive losses, the longest losing streak for this team in a handful of years now, but the Mets have been going even worse of late, so something has to give in this series. Tyler or McGill will try to negotiate that. Hitters are hitting 056 against McGill, but when he's got two outs at 429, he's had some trouble closing the innings. And now back for his third start of the year. And Betts hits a two hopper to Lindor. It takes care of his opposite number for the first out of the game. Went out for Shohei Otani. Otani will be down for the second game of this doubleheader on Tuesday. And he strikes out on the splitter. Good pitch by McGill to get Otani for the second out. So two up two down and Freddie Freeman coming up. Right hander delivers and Freddie turns on a ball and rips a base hit into right field. A two out knock for Freddie. Will Smith Dodger catcher. Here's Will Smith who flies one out to right center and Tyrone Taylor edging over and in front of the warning track he makes the catch. Jerry Tyler on the side. Tyler Glass now the last time he and the Dodgers saw the Mets was April 21st and that's Sunday. Glass now helped the Dodgers avoid a sweep matching a career high with eight innings of shutout baseball with 10 strikeouts. Swings through strike three. Here is Pete Alonso, affectionately known in these parts as the polar bear. Fastball called strike three. So after falling behind 3 0, oh, Glass now gets a punch out of Alonso. Two batters and two Ks for the right hander. Nimmo walks, bringing to the plate an old friend, J.D. Martinez. Payoff with Nimmo on a head start. That's a third strikeout for Tyler Glass now in the first inning. Oscar Hernandez leading off the second inning for the Dodgers. 1 1 to Hernandez in the air center field tracking it back is Taylor he's at the wall he jumps and he cannot make the catch. So Hernandez hustles in to second base. That ball was in the glove of Taylor and then out of the glove of Taylor. Uh, Her Taylor doesn't know what's happening he's still standing on second base. And now they're gonna have to take a look yeah. at it. Did he pin it against that batter's eye. It's like he got it now. Let's pin it right now. So like if the ball touches that wall there, then it's a home run. No, I don't think it did. Hey, yeah. so the gloves closed on it, then he brought it back. The call on the field is confirmed. The ball is alive and in play. So a leadoff double for Teoscar Hernandez. Would have been a home run if not for the glove. Here's Gavin Lux. And Lux lifts one out to left, and Nimble's right there. That's the first out of the end. So now Hernandez still at second with one out. Chris Taylor, right hand better. And it's in there for a call strike three. Fastball at the top of the zone, got him looking. And McGill's got his second strikeout, two down. So it'll be up to Jason Hayward. And he reaches out and taps it to third. Beatty comes in to get it. And that retires the side. A leadoff double, but McGill leaves him stranded. Second ball given up by Glass now. Beatty's on. Here's Nito. Nito bunts it to Freddie Freeman, who goes to second to get the lead runner. And Beatty, Beatty takes out Mookie Betts. Arm no foul. And Nito's at first base, switching spots with Brett Beatty. Here's Francisco Lindor. And the curveball rocketed out to right field. Hayward going back, back at the fence, and it's out of here. Francisco Lindor got on the curveball and hits a 2 1 homer, his eighth of the year, to give the Mets the lead. So the Mets get their first runs against Tyler Glass now in two starts this year. Well, this is a pitch if you're Glass now, you want back to oh, He just threw a fastball by him upstairs, and he came back with a curveball in the same area. Well, he struck him out the first time with that down and end curveball out of the strike zone. But that one was hanging right there. Lindor just all over it. Lindor had not homered since made the 10th against the Braves. And now the Mets have first and second and one out for J.D. Martinez. Ground ball to Mookie at short. The flip to Lux for one. And the Dodgers get two to end the third inning. But the Mets get two to start the scoring. Chris Taylor leads off number seven hitter for the Dodgers. And a half swing and he went around strike three. Teller is struck out for the second time. That's five now for McGill over the first four and a third. Two out to runner at first, and here's Mookie Betts. And he struck him out. Got him with a high fastball. Six strikeouts in five scoreless innings for Tyler McGill. One away. On Tomas Nito. Another K for Glass now. Now Francisco Lindor is responsible for the two runs in this game. A 2 2 pitch. Glass now gets Lindor swinging. Seven strikeouts for Glass now. Seventh inning, Teoscar Hernandez leads off. 
And he struck him out. Strikeout number seven for McGill, matching his season high, one out of the seven. That's the book on Tay Oscar. He wants to swing the bat, so if you get ahead of him, you can go out of the strike zone. 0 2 coming to Lux. And he struck him out, got him with the splitter. Back to back strikeouts for McGill to start the seventh. Eight strikeouts now for Tyler McGill. Two out of nobody on in the seventh, and now Chris Taylor. Got him looking, side retired. Tyler McGill strikes out the side in the seventh inning. Nine punch outs and seven scoreless for McGill. And now Reed Garrett is on to pitch in the eighth inning. Going to shake off a rough outing his last time out against the Giants. Ground ball base hit for Jason Hayward to start the inning. So that will bring the tying run to the plate in the form of Andy Pajes. Double play ball to McNeil. Backhand flip to Lindor, and he can't get it out of his glove. And Pajes is safe at first. So one out and one out. Now Mookie Betts. One, two, ground ball to third base. Spadey loses the baseball. So everybody's safe. The Mets infield having some trouble getting the baseball from glove to throwing hand. Yeah, Tying runs aboard. Yeah, I don't care how it's done. We'll take it. First and second. Shohei coming up. He's just trying to be quick. And that just slips out of his hand. That wasn't even in the transition at all. Literally just grabbing the ball and it just kind of squirts out of his hand. Carlos Mendoza will make a pitching change with two on and one out. Jake Diekman will come in, a lefty to face Otani and Freeman. Jake Diekman coming into the game has had more success against Otani than maybe any lefty reliever in baseball. And a bouncing ball right near the bag at second. Lindor with a step and the fire is not in time. Three times in this inning, the Mets looked like they might be able to turn a double play, but Otani beat out the play at first to keep the inning alive. That's huge, though. You give Freddie an opportunity right here. At the corners, two down in the eighth inning. Freddie, first pitch, going the other way. An RBI base hit as the Dodgers on the board and cuts the deficit in half. It's two to one. Good job by Freddie just putting that ball in place, shooting it the other way, but that RBI also goes to Otani for busting it down to first base on that last ground out. Freddie just shooting that hole over there. Again, can't say enough about Shohei. Hustling down to first with that bad hammy. Kept the inning alive. One run ball game. So now with two out and two on, Will Smith will be coming up. Struck him out. Jake Deakman with a huge strikeout. Fan Smith on three pitches to keep the Mets in front. Adam Adovino on to try for the save. Dodgers have the tying run on third and nobody out in the ninth. Chris Taylor the batter. Bunt. On the ground, right side, Hernandez scores to tie the game, and CT is safe. CT just trying to move guys over, and you see Teoscar, he's coming from the get-go. Adovino almost catches that ball, tries to just get out there, he can't do it, and then lets Taylor get down to first. It's weird how this game rewards you for playing it the right way. So now well, Andy Pajes with first and second and one out. That's it sharply. That could be two. Lindor to McNeil and on to first. And this time they turn two and get out of Vino through the inning with the score tied. And now with two out of the bases loaded, it's left to Jeff McNeil. In the air, right side. Gavin Lux settles underneath. Nails from Daniel Hudson, quieting the crowd at City Field. They're going to extra innings in game one of this doubleheader. The Dodgers have the top of the order. Do up. Mookie jumps on the first pitch. A base hit in the right. Andy Pajes waved around. The Dodgers have the lead in the 10th. How about the momentum switch over the last two pitches? One, we get a pop-up to Gavin Lux, shut down the Mets, and then Mookie Betts just rides this thing right back up the middle. I mean, literally, two pitches, it, it looked like it was not going to be good for the Dodgers, and now two pitches later, this is looking really nice. One out, Betts still at first, and here's Freeman. Freddie, first pitch swinging, hit hard, right field and deep, it's gone! Dodgers just wanted to wait till the ninth inning to get going, and boy, have they exploded. Freddie Freeman gets a fastball right down the middle part of the plate. You know, you go back to that base hit that he had for an RBI single where he just shot a ground ball through to the left side. You know, those are the type of at-bats that get you right. Boy, did Freddie get right. It's now 5-2. to two. And the Mets are down to their final out in game one of the doubleheader. That's three, and that's a win for L.A. The Dodgers snapped the five-game losing streak with five unanswered runs to take game one from New York.